Payhip is actually a platform where you can sell digital download. You can sell courses and if you have an expertise in something, you can do coaching on the platform. As you can see, you sell digital downloads such as ebook, software, design asset, templates, and so on. You can equally send, sell online courses and you can actually offer your services as, a, as an expert by doing coaching as well as membership. You can equally sell physical products on pay heaps, as you can see right here. So let me click on the pricing so that you see some of the different plans that we have on this platform. So as you can see on, on the pricing, we have the zero plan, which is free. Then we have, which have a 5% transaction fees. Then we have a $29 per month, which is, which has 2% transaction fees. And we have the pro plan, which is, does not have a transaction fee. As you can see right here, I'm just going to sign up for a free account. So you can choose any of the plans. So in clicking on sign up for a free account, you can see right here, this is my email and password. After doing that, I'll go ahead and I click on create account. When I click on create account, I'm just going to click on this box where they say I am not a robot. Then after clicking that, I'm going to click on create account. So I'm creating a pay heap account. So here I'm going to enter the, the name of my online business and I'm just going to enter printable shop printable shop as you can see as the name of my online shop then I click on continue so this is my shop URL right here then I'm going to click on get started selling so when I click on get started selling is going to lead me it will lead me to this section where they say that i have completed 25 percent of my store set up so i'm just going to click on add your first product to start then i can add payment then i customize my shop so i'm just going to click on add your first product so that i can start adding my digital product so i'm just going to click on add product right here then i click on add a product so i'm just going to be adding the products you need to be adding the products one after another is it a digital product is it a course is it a membership is it a physical product is it a coaching service or is it a bundle what I'm doing, I'm uploading a digital product. So if, if yours is a physical product, you can go ahead and click on it. But mine is a digital product. So as you can see on this section where you have the plus sign, I have to click on it in order to upload the product. To start selling here, you need to upload a file of maximum five gigabyte. So you upload your product file, you choose the title of your product, you enter the price, and the product is on sale. Then you upload a cover image product, a cover product image right here. And then you enter the description of your product on this box. Then you are good to go. The product will be visible to anyone and nobody except you can see this product. If you want it to be invisible, then you add your product. So I'm just going to click on upload product file. Then I go over to my computer and I select the product. Then I just go ahead and I search for my file for my product. As you can see, meal planner. It's a meal planner that I want to sell on PayHeap. As you can see, meal planner PDF format. So it supports all type of files here of digital products. And after I'm done with that, 
after it finish uploading as you can see i can just go ahead to enter my file name here as you can see i'm just going to enter weekly meal planner so this is a weekly meal planner that i want to sell on payhip so this is the name of it so i'm just going to go over to the price you can change the currency type to any currency type of your choice but i'm going to leave us dollars then i can go ahead and make it ten dollar that this product is ten dollar and as you can see they say product is on sale i can still go ahead and change this five dollar to ten dollar that this ebook this ebook that i want to sell called meal planner is ten dollar so i need to upload a cover image of my product right here so all i need to do is to go over to canva and look at the dimension as you can see they say 1000 pixels the minimum of the cover image should be 1000 pixels so i'm just going to allow this file as it is uploading then i go over to canva.com to design the product image of this product that i just uploaded so i'm just going to go over to canva and design and design a design that is having a minimum of 1000 pixels so i just go over to my browser and i type in canva.com it will lead me to this section or uh, and then i'll click on custom size then i enter the width 1000 pixels and the height 1000 pixels because this is the minimum requirement then i click on create new design here as you can see this is a new a new uh, template where i'm just going to design something to represent the meal planner as you can see this is a weekly meal planner so that if a customer comes over to my site the person can actually see this so i'm just going to go ahead and download it i click on download then is a png file then i click download then on my computer now i'm just going to go back to pay him. then i click on upload a product image i just go over and i click on upload a product image then i upload it right here as you can see this is the product image or the product cover page and you can see this is the the weekly meal planner that i created and it, it has 120 pages so somebody with five dollar can come over to pay hip and buy this weekly meal planner as you can see so as you can see i've actually designed it and this is the description as you can see that I've done so you can actually do based on the kind of product that you are selling and you write the description on advanced options they say this product has different variation this product is tax except it, it is an ebook and all the like so as you can see everyone can see the product when I click on upload a preview file I can upload a preview file here so that any customer that come over to my site the person can see the a preview then they say limit the number of times this product can be sold you can limit it then they say automatically subscribe customers to mailing list and all the like so i'm just going to click on add product as you can see our product has been added and this is the url for the product as you can see this is the url for this product then i can share it on facebook or on twitter so i'm going to click on show me a preview so this is how the product look like this is the cover image of my product as you can see this is it right here so i'm just going to add a payment method as you can see this is why it is highlighted yellow here so when i click here it will take me to the payment option where only two payment options are available paypal and stripe so i'm going to use paypal 
then this is the currency type i'm just going to allow it in us dollars so you can choose you can choose the currency that you want to work with so i'm just going to go ahead and add my paper details right here as you can see i have added my paper and see it is being ticked so you can add stripe if you have a stripe account and you want to be receiving your money through stripe then after i'm done with that i'm going to click on save settings then i go back to my dashboard when i go back to the dashboard section and click on it as you can see they say you have completed 75 percent of your store setup so i'm done with the product and the payment option i'm just going to click on customize in order to customize my online shop where i'm going to be adding my social media links and all the like and on top of the screen click on the account drop down and you select settings on the settings side here you can change the name of your store or your company and then then you add your instagram link handle facebook youtube and all the like so i'm just going to change this name and write full emanuela printable full emanuela printables so this is the name of my shop as you can see here on the payment option as you can see i've set it up on the billing and payment i choose the the zero plan i can still upgrade it to the 29 pay dollar month then on taxes now click on add store address and tax rate as well as tax settings so i'm just going to add my store location like where is your store located as you can see i'm just going to go ahead i enter my name and the address of my shop as you can see this is it right here then on tax rate i can i'll click on it already I click on it I select my country so you can select your country and the tax system as well as the percentage then after you are done with that you can you go ahead and click on save settings or you go over to shipping with shipping you have nothing to do because this is a digital product but if you were having a physical product you can go ahead and do that then on advanced settings as you can see they say email notification it is being ticked that send me a notification email anytime a product is being sold and then here you can protect your pdf files as well as if you have inventory as well then here is the they say send me a notification email for any physical product here is the number of download limit that you can limit your product to being to be downloaded so but here know that you are selling the product so you don't need to limit it so i'm just going to go over and write in 1000 for example so you can go ahead and enter your facebook details and everything here then you you, you check out settings your cost settings your logo and invoice settings and all the like so i'm not going to do anything here I'm just going to go go on that to where they say I should write something that each time somebody make a purchase on my shop the person will receive the message I'll just enter follow me on Instagram and Facebook then I click on save settings so we are customizing our online shop right here as you can see going back to our dashboard as you can see you will see our product right here weekly meal planner as you can see this is our shop url and this is our our product which is our ebook or our low content book weekly meal planner and any sales that you make is going to be indicating here the number of views the number of orders the number of sales you see it and the amount of money that you make on this shop so this is it right here i've added up to 10 products as you can see right here this is a wine testing book and all the like so these are the different products 
digital printables that I've uploaded on this site with different different prices as you can see right here so let me just view one of them as you can see this is a wine testing logbook and it costs ten dollar as you can see let me click on another one let me click on this one this is an income and expenditure logbook printable as you can see these are different books that i've uploaded so this is how you can make money online using PayHip selling your digital printables. If you find any value in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Equally subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime a new video comes up on this channel. Equally give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone. And in my next video, I'm going to be bringing other platforms that you can make that you can make money online selling digital printables so stay tuned to this channel